Good evening. New Orleans now joins many other cities across the U.S. to make opioid lawsuits to possibly be the largest civil litigation issue in U.S. history. Mayor LaToya Cantrell made the announcement earlier today. Jacqueline Quinn talked with people on the front lines of this fight about what it means. Natalie, the fact that the city is joining other cities in the state and across the country says a lot because in this fight, it's similar to the fight against big tobacco. It's going to take a lot to go up against a well-funded well pharmaceutical companies that have made billions of dollars. There's a list in my head. Um, off the top of my head, since I've been in New Orleans, at least 15 people have died that I know personally. Jeffrey Dupuy is a social worker at clinics in the New Orleans area, and he has seen firsthand what opioid addiction has done to some of his clients. It's heartbreaking. Um, just this past year, I had a young woman whom uh, I had treated when she was 17 years old. Um, and who struggled for about 10 years on and off to maintain some sort of sobriety. Dupuy tells us that client would become sober, attend meetings, and at some point relapse. It hasn't been until recently that powerful opiates, such as fentanyl, made addiction more deadly. She went out one night and died of an overdose. He doesn't blame drug companies entirely, but he's looking for them to be more responsible. They were touted as a non-habit forming, non-addictive uh, way to treat pain. It's a fight that has similarities with the fight against big tobacco. What cigarette do you smoke, doctor? Notably, the cost to treat those who overdose has strained resources here in New Orleans, particularly in health and emergency services. The city hopes a lawsuit it filed Thursday will help put a price tag on the treatment it's provided to people who have OD'd. Mayor LaToya Cantrell's office wrote in a statement that it's very clear that the associated costs of the city are significant. Echo settlement, some of the money that was supposed to go towards positive things never made it there. While Dupuy thinks it'd be nice to see drug makers pay restitution. My hope would be that people who are taking opioids um, are aware of the dangers and the risk associated with it. He says if one person can be saved because of changes from these laws, lawsuits, that would certainly be something. Now, the New Orleans Health Department director says drug treatment programs are virtually unable to keep up with the patients they keep getting, and the number of deaths from opioids is higher than deaths from stroke, cancer, gunshot wounds, and nearly every other chronic disease. Back to you guys. Jacqueline, thank you. A grand jury this afternoon and